hi my peeps welcome back to my youtube channel if you are not new if you are new welcome to my youtube channel hope you guys are having a great day if you're not having a great day remember that's always okay too but i'm always over here hoping you do have a great day and your day turns around um let's see what else what do we have on the docket today oh social distance wear your mask uh wash your hands uh hand sanitize your hands things like that y'all like seriously y'all this is getting ridiculous I mean, I don't mind telling you guys this, but this is now getting to a point where, y'all, we ain't never gonna get out of this pandemic, y'all, with y'all doing the things that you guys are doing, like, oh, it is what it is, um, but all I can do is encourage you guys to do, uh, to do good things and to help out the freaking world, so it is what it is, uh, I don't care if you're vaccinated or not, uh, it, the rules apply to every single person, even though y'all may think that it don't apply to you. It does. Okay, so what we have today is I am right now greasing my hair because my hair is so dry right now. So dry, y'all. Like, it's like, uh, help me. Uh, we're parched. We're parched. We're parched. And I'm like, okay, y'all. And my mom told me I need to grease my hair because, you know. So, that's what we're doing. We have a lot to do today, y'all. So much to do. We have actually a really pretty busy schedule and a pretty busy week, y'all. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the, because uh, the school is having like a their annual haunted house or whatever. And so I'm actually going to go there and record some stuff for you guys. Not some stuff, I'm going to record me walking through their haunted house. And I thought that would be like a cool video to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and so, because actually, I have never been to a haunted house, guys. I have never been to a haunted house. And so this is, will be like a kind of new experience. And you guys will get to experience it with me. Um and things of that nature. Is my ear still bothering me? Yes, it is. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. There are people who are going through a lot worse than I am, and so it's a situation where I count your blessings. Um, and things like that. better but I have so much hair guys I really should be spending like a gazillion oh mother humper a gazillion hours greasing my hair but we on a time crunch we on a time crunch because we got class at 2 30 and I don't have the time to give it and then so later we're gonna go to family dollar and get some vitamin E oil uh my mom suggested that because it does help uh, with some of my ear struggles a little bit. Uh, not always, but it has seemed to work and at this point in the game, uh, it's a situation where you're kind of willing to just try anything, do anything. And y'all, the one thing that I never got was a brush. And I need a brush. We're not gonna go get it now though, because I don't really feel like getting it now. And the reason why I'm using a glove to get grease my hair is because I wanna get this grease in the dirt is stuck in my nail. Cause y'all my hair is so freaking dirty. And there's a, so much dandruff and things happening or whatever. are from my sister <laughs> which is good because you know she supported me and things like that or whatever and I like when 
cringy comments. Um, but like y'all, y'all can comment. Y'all can like uh, even comment suggestions. If you guys really honestly did had are like not really feeling the video, please comment suggestions. Like I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but I actually do what I am, what I say I'm going to do. Trust me, if you have a, what do they call it, constructive criticism, tell me. Uh, even if you cuss me out in the comments, like, y'all, yeah, I, like, don't care. Like, I actually will do the suggestions, y'all. Uh, I have gotten suggestions from other people, and I have done those suggestions. Like, from, like, family members and stuff like that, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I am, like, open, y'all. Now, if it's, like... Uh, do a shopping spree and spend a thousand dollars. I mean, that just won't happen. But if it's like realistic, like, hey, can you do a video where you're trying out this food or this product or whatever? And I will uh, talk to my parents and I will talk to uh, my godmom uh, because my parents and my godmom, they're really encouraging and they are literally financing all of this crap, guys. I do, I can, cannot be any more truthful and honest, like, I do not have a job, uh, I'm a spoiled individual, um, my parents work extremely hard to, um, keep me alive and having the luxuries and stuff that I have as well as my god I'm like, y'all, when I say every single thing in this dorm room, the car, in my school supplies when I say everything I have never bought a single thing in my life I literally mean that like I've never I mean when you like birthday money and stuff like that or whatever I you know use or whatever but yeah no credit comes from me it is all my parents godmom uh, friends of the family when they do so yeah guys when i say that i truly mean like that's what it is so going back to the point if you guys have uh suggestions for things to do like as far as trying out products i will run it by my mom or my dad obviously it should be a product that i would uh use or be most likely to use or maybe someone in my family so that way i could like give it to them or something like that and then I'll run it by them, and if it's a reasonable price, don't be just telling me to try out products like $500, like we need to stay within the uh, price range. So let's say, mm, let's go for like $30 or less. Even that's like really high, especially since I'm like talking about money that not, does not belong to me. But I could, um, try that and then uh, give you guys an honest review because me I don't be doing what all them other people those youtubers be doing of course they're getting paid for that but I'm like if I don't like a product I'm going to tell you I don't like a product you know what I'm saying so yeah okay now I do have to start putting my hands up in this piece uh, and things like that. So let's take these gloves off or this glove off. Uh, okay. Oh, my hair still feels so dry. Maybe it's because of the fact that I was using a glove. Well, no, because we've used gloves before. Let's comb out our hair. Things like that. Get that grease moving a little bit. Oh, and y'all, I'm getting, when I go home in November, I'm getting my hair done. Uh, which means that I will be able to show you guys everything sis goes through to get her hair looking snatched. 
I mean, it's been a few months or whatever. Since the last time I got it done. Um, but uh, y'all really could be able to see what I actually do uh, to get through. Because y'all, let me tell you something. She may be like, oh, her hair, that's like her natural hair. Yes, this is my real hair. But as far as natural, is anything. Y'all, a little bit of water, just a little bit. A little bit like this. A water and she's whole big old afro. You know, so. That's what she goes through. So y'all will actually be able to see it. And some of you guys, who are my subscribers, are my high school uh classmates my high school class i should say uh and so they have never actually really seen my real hair like there's been a few occasions but the last time they've ever seen like my natural hair was back in sixth grade and of course my uh, hair has grown since then so, well, actually, no, I think it's eighth grade, but obviously my hair has grown since then, and so it's an even bigger hot mess, and so I'm, like, really excited to show you guys that. Brothers, people, my peeps, like this, no, that afro, whoo, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Because, yeah, there's like so many YouTubers out there that always are like, oh, this is really me, this is, uh, I'm always going to be real and honest with y'all, like, forget real. Let's talk about raw. Like, just be raw. Like, I don't always just end up looking as cute as I look uh, in all my videos just because that's how I wake up. Well, I mean, I do look cute when I wake up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't look, you know, crazy when I wake up. But, like, do a situation where, like, you guys are, like, brushing your teeth, going through the struggles of what you all really do. You know what I'm saying? Like, be... Oh, math. Okay. Like, show us, like, the real stuff, like, how it really goes. Like, especially for, like, African-American hair. Like, for those of us that, like, get, like, our hair, like, act, like, press or uh, relaxers. Because I get, what is it, like, it's, use, I, uh have my hair pressed and things like that uh like when we get this stuff we gotta make this last like we go it, our hair is dirty we got flakes especially me growing dandruff which cr increases and like the grease and like our hair gets dirty and things like that our hair itches like be real and raw like don't just be real honest be raw you know what i'm saying and I've always, like, there are, like, very few YouTubers that I've been able to discover. Not saying there's not more. I'm not trying to offend anybody. But, like, be honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that hair. Because I hardly ever comb my hair, y'all. I really do. Like, I hardly comb it. And I shed a lot, and so then when I finally do comb it, 
She's looking special. It looks like I like have lost like all my you know what I'm saying? Oh and then like I gotta make sure I can comb it either way, I can flip it either way and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what we are doing. y'all but y'all will get to see like I will like have curls like uh in my hair I get curls put in but because of how fast how my the longer my hair grows the less uh time the curls actually stay in so literally sometimes by like the freaking mm, second or third week of having after having getting my hair done uh the curls are all gone and I'm have straight hair I have a curling iron uh, but I don't really feel like curling my hair. To be honest with you, that's like my sister's thing. Like whenever I want my hair curled, I just tell Kiara, I'm like, uh, Kiara. Well, actually, no. I don't even tell her. She's like, Kara, you have no curls. Your hair looks dead. Let me curl it for you. And so my sister will curl it for me. Like we do a lot of stuff. I'm really happy that I have the relationship I do have with my sister. Like, we're extremely close. Like, we bicker a lot. We, like, go at each other's throats a lot. But, like, we are so close. Like, sometimes we be talking our own little alien language. Like, I love it. And because of the type of personality my sister has, if I, like, am lazy, not sick or anything, just being lazy, I'll be like, here, can you make food for me? And then she'd be like, okay, what do you want me to make for you? And I was like, well, and so she'll like make the food for me. Like sometimes she'll like groan and like be like, oh, Carter being so lazy. What do you want? And things like that. So I'm really like, really lucky. And then like, she like takes care of me. Like not only it's supposed to be like the other way around, but she'll like literally be like, how are you haven't eaten? What do you want to eat or whatever? So like, I'm like really lucky. I mean, not saying like that's not the same way for like my mom and dad, but I'm just like talking about uh, my sister or whatever. Uh, like seriously, like no joke, yo. Um, with our personalities, you would, uh, oop, another. You would think that she would be the one, uh, becoming a doctor surgeon or whatever the case may be and I would be the one that uh wanting to be an author or something but that's not how we ended up uh because my sister help and generosity will only go so far <laughs> and even then and she it's mainly like family where she will like care that much not to say that she doesn't care about people because you know my mom not my parents raised us like if you're not of service to people then what are you here for you know what i'm saying of service to others then what the heck are you on this planet for you know what i'm saying and it's enough to say that she doesn't uh respect her elders or if someone drops something on the floor like in the store or something she won't help out and uh pick it up or something or help them out but I don't know, it's just weird how that ended up working out. But yeah, I don't know if I ever even told you guys that. Like my sister, she wants to be, not once, no one. She is going to be an amazing author and things like that. And so we decided to put our two interests together because I love children. My sister, 
No, she does not like kids. But I love children and she's amazing at writing. Like y'all, I wish I could like show y'all some of the stories that she writes because it is amazing like the stuff that she writes it like within the first sentence you're like i gotta read the rest and then when you're done because a lot of it is just like short stories or whatever um uh you're like where the hell are the other five thousand chapters you know what i'm saying like that's how amazing she is And like, I, I like, I don't necessarily envy it, but I love that she has that amazing gift. Because when it comes to writing papers, sometimes the teachers want details. And so I end up uh, always uh, sending my sister my papers so that way she could, uh, what do you call it, uh, add detail to it. Because I'm a person, just like us Libras, we're very logical, we're thinking, everything has to balance. We don't care about how you got to the point. For example, let's say where the topic is, I don't know, dogs. I just want facts. I want factual things. Uh, this breed of dog will weigh at most this, this, uh, they require lots of energy and things like that. My sister will add in like this breed of dog, you know, will have colors that are somewhat gradient or the layering of the, I don't care about that. I just want straight to the point. I don't give a crap about what the colors are. How much will this dog weigh? Uh, how long did it take them from get to A to B? What they sh what should they be doing uh, to stay in shape? Things like that. I don't care about the other crap or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, God, it is hot. And it's probably because like I'm moving around, have all this hair, and things like that. Ugh. So much hair. But yeah. Oh, like I was saying, oof, my husband. We were going to put our, we're going to put our, we're not, we were going to, we are going to, when we get to those points in our lives. My sister and I, even before we really found out what we wanted to do in life, it was always we are going to own businesses together. We're going to have companies together uh, and things like that. Never with friends or anything like that because I don't need to tell you why that's not ever a good idea per my mom because that's what she taught us. Ugh, math in 30 minutes. Uh, it is that we are going to do all these things together uh, because of children and me uh, loving children so much we're going and she's an amazing writer and she will be an amazing author we're going to put those two things together and do children's books and things like that and then uh, she said that she wants to do it to where uh, I uh, us talking about my journey to becoming a doctor and things like that and she will write the book and publish it and things like that or whatever so we just have like so many things and like we want to create um a bunch of organizations and things like that to connect kids with literature and education and we want to even have our own clothing line where like how do i put it because she is a fashionista, y'all let me tell y'all something. She is a complete fashionista. I can't dress myself to save my life. Like to even just to have this simple outfit, my mom helped me. And then the other outfits before, my sister has helped a lot, especially when my mom has been busy or something. 
So we're going to do it to where uh, she would do like the cl more clothing kind of aspect of it and I would do the jewelry aspect of it because like I said, let me get this fan because I am hot y'all. Uh, uh, and she, because and, I love me a good jewel. And my sister and jewelry, they just don't mix. Oh, goodness gracious, the freaking, I need to charge my phone. Oops, sorry, y'all. Are y'all good? Okay, good. We'll put y'all down here. We are back. I just finished, well, I finished math class. And now I just finished roads. And I was going to check the car, but I remembered I still have that tree, smelly good tree, to put up in the car. So I am walking to my dorm room to grab the smelly good tree. And then I'm going to officially check the car and get something to eat because I am so hungry. my balance there for a little bit y'all hold up there we go just as my phone hates me okay sir what is this i am back officially in the door i put the little smelly good tree thingy in the car oh, it smells so good i have an eyelash in my eye i believe and i can't get it out until i wash my hands so I'll put y'all right there. can see um let me tuck this out a little bit more but it's not gonna go anywhere anyway we got our little chain right here we got our little bracelet right here rings as always pinky ring oh story time though okay so this chain y'all see this chain okay so years years back hold on Okay, 
years, years back. Uh, I was into pocket watches. Because I can't remember what movie it was, but like I was just drawn into it, right? And um, I had gotten... Um, I had saved up some money from what was birthday or doing like some chores around the house or whatever and maybe it was a combination of both and I had gotten a pocket watch from Walmart right if you all remind me in the comments section that when I go home to show you guys the pocket watch I will uh but I have let me see um the ch I eventually, obviously, as children do, they become disinterested in the pocket watch. I mean, not, you know what I'm saying, they could become disinterested. And so, I was like, okay, this isn't it. And then, years later, like, literally, like, maybe, like, a month or two before I left for school, I was like, let me, like, repurpose this pocket watch because I'm not going to use it for what it should be used and so I was able to take off the chain part and I was now able to use it as a necklace and so I was like oh my god this works out perfectly and so the pocket watch is at home and the chain is here let me see I really hope I have some tuna. I don't think I do, which is a bummer because I want some tuna and macaroni and cheese. for ravioli. So we'll make some ravioli. Oh, okay. So, what was it? I think it was Sunday when I went to grocery shop. Yes, it was. Uh, there was like this thing at the, um, like they're like constantly putting up flyers or cards or whatever, parties coming up or whatever, or that's going to be happening that same night or whatever the case may be. And so when I went to go grocery shop on Sunday, I came out of my dorm room and there was this, um, she's not naked or whatever. Maybe she is and she just has litter. I didn't know, but for my younger audiences, sorry, but I guess I missed the Libra, what does S-Z-N stand for? Libra season? Is that what that's supposed to be? I don't know. But there's another Halloween night or party or whatever that is on uh, October 31st. Again, for the younger audiences, you know sorry but i do have this label is it's not necessarily for kids so basically if y'all watching the video you know it is what it is uh, i think it's time to get our comfortable done to be honest with you i got done got prettied up with clays and things like that it's time to retire the things I don't normally wear. And then hopefully I can get this chain off. And my hair has... <gasps> oh. I was like, how did this happen? Okay, hold up. Let me see. 
This thing was really hard to get on. And so it's probably going to be hard to get off. Can I do it? Can I do it? Wait, 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 wait. Ha ha! Hey, hey! Okay, so we got her off. Let's put the um, bike. Okay. Let's get us some ravioli. Okay, hold up. Beep. I'm feeling this ramen noodle shirt and these silk PJs bottoms. So that's what we're going to do. Let's shut our window. No naked to see. And we back. We got our ramen noodle shirt on. Okay, 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 okay. So uh, let's get our go to bowl. go to bowl we got our ravioli 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 rav rav and it matches my shirt hey. shoulder pain and the tramadol yes it will give me energy but it really uh makes me hungry it's like i'm snacking and eating like literally like all day because i'm like starving it's smelling that food up in that hallway bad business y'all okay like i have a taste for like what is it i think it's two minutes i'm just gonna put it on for two minutes the dorm room tour so that and I still have to do that part three of how to study Ugh. okay 
Okay, so... Let me... What the heck? My glasses, for some reason, want to be dirty. Okay. So that's all I really have for y'all today. Now, this was literally like a true vlog. Like, this is literally like a vlog. <laughs> I would know how to subscribe it. Um, oh, then. But yeah. I'm gonna to eat and then study assignments, all that other good jazz. Oh. Ah. Okay. Alright, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, if you don't have a great day, remember that's always okay too. But I'm always over here hoping your day turns around for you. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the notifications, the bell. So that way y'all get notified every single time I post a new video. And then what else should I, should I tell you? Oh! Remember to wear your mask, social distance, um, hand sanitize, uh, wash your hands, uh, carry your own hand sanitizer, also uh, I don't care if you're vaccinated or not, we all need to do our part because you're not the only person on this planet. Alright? Um, oh yeah, even if you just like the video, you even if you hit that thumbs down, guess what? It's not going to stop me from doing what I do, what we do over here. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty. I will see you guys next time. Bye.